Hey, hey Mish, good morning. How are you doing? You're welcome, yeah. This is where I'm learning. Come in. Yeah. It's a nice morning. I slept all night. I was just about to go in for the uh, cardio this morning. So you have a lot of security. You have to have all the chiefs uh, to get out there. Nobody comes in anyhow. Yeah. I love the place. Uh, it's a little place to start with. And uh, uh, it's just good for me at the moment uh, to start a new life here in the US. So quite obvious, I uh, wanted to start somewhere. Okay, so actually I will start my morning activity with a uh, cardio, a 45 minutes cardio. This is where I do my morning cardio, just to keep fit. Uh, most of the secret, uh, people want to know how I'm, I'm really getting in shape, it's like in, in the morning. I do my morning cardio here, good enough. This uh, apartment is equipped with all these uh, facilities here. So I'll just start off for immediately. I do about uh, 15 minutes here and the spinning with 15 minutes and then I do a little bit of the bike too. Uh, I'll just let us start with 20, 20 minutes each, which is about one hour cardio every morning. Uh, but now since I'm a little bit preparing for the Mr. Leap here, and I have to put in more uh, pounds on me, and so I reduce my cardio hours, not even one hour, up to about 45 minutes. Yeah. And, uh, I want to increase more size, uh, but with good quality. That's why I do the cardio every morning to shape up before the training. Like in the spinning machine, what I do is, uh, first of all, I do the reverse. The reverse side is really working on the glutes. Uh, that's why in most of the competition, uh, you guys see the stretches on the glutes. So I really love doing this. I don't mind even if it's five minutes, 10 minutes, but uh, I do work on that before I do the real normal, normal uh, uh, straight uh, spinning. So, it's part of a little secret about how to be a champion. So, uh, my training basically uh, based on kind of uh, uh, listening to my body and then really giving out uh, to the condition of what my body needs. And that's why most of the times I don't really like uh, uh, giving tests or 
using myself for a kind of test, uh, a training condition to my body. And that's why it reacts so much better and better every time. Has it? Then only this is uh, the bike part of it, which I love doing as well. I have to put it in my size since I'm a, a small man. <laughs> Like part of my secret workout is also every morning before my breakfast I do uh, the abs training. So just a little bit of the exercise of the abs training, then that will end up the cardio for today. So just say uh, it's all about here all together. All right. Then I move on, because that's one of the things people used to think, how do I get the side strike? This is it. This is something I do every day. It's all being set down here because I do this, I think, alone. And I'll go one more. I go up to four sets, then I'm done for the morning. So it's like uh, my kind of training in the morning, uh, which I started in building up myself for the real training and a harder one too, so that the body is still in condition and it's always in condition no matter what, because you know how to control the system in your body here. Yeah. That's it. I'll go on once again. Always when one is doing like a, the elbow 
It's not that the elbow is going to be straight here. The elbow should be like squeezing in front of your abs and that will give you the stretch down. That's what I'm doing. standing Five weeks to the Mr. Olympia, and this is how I look at the movement. Okay, let's go. This you can do by the side as well. Oh, this other side too. that we're gonna get some breakfast because this with empty body all right you can see I'm now to take my breakfast uh, normally what I do eat is uh eight uh, white eggs and two with yolk so that's why i always go with uh, a large quantity of eggs buying it uh, to save uh, at least for a week uh if not just only five days 
so and then uh, I add it up with uh, oat milk so that's it all together 10 my oat milk here and with some little water So I'll store my oat milk here this way and here I can get just two of this or times I do take more uh, if I'm really starving like today. <laughs> so, uh, most of the people do buy the white egg uh, just like that in a kind of well prepared but what I do mine is uh, I buy mine with this all in the shell so this is what I do I bring it out and that's it so with that I've been able to bring out a clean white egg and I still go on same way that way turn it up and if it's falling, then you know at least from the start, you've got some clean egg. Yes, you want. Like that. Uh, this is one thing again, uh, when I start doing it, I don't normally just go on. Uh, putting in the yolk all at once. I try to make sure the yolk is at the end, maybe the last two eggs, in case uh, you might have some little accident like all these ones that are falling. So you don't have it above. So with that I can measure up and then know actually the, that it is two. It's not even above. So then I can put the two last one just with the two and the next one too. That's it. So I make up the fire. Because normally I, I like my oatmeal to be uh, cooked. And uh, with that Put it, add in more water. Steam it up. Just in a very low fire. cooked and clean uh, but if you guys do clean we have to I like to I like to keep my things uh, very clean and uh, because uh, when it is food I like to have it very clean and uh, that makes me to enjoy my meal mostly then I have to beat it up and actually I don't use any salt it's been quite some time I don't eat salt I don't even eat sugar uh, because uh, it, uh, the secret about my keeping in shape or being in shape every year actually goes down to the fact that uh, uh, I, I've been doing a sport whereby I have to discipline myself. Though it's difficult when you tell somebody, you say, oh, it's, it doesn't exist. But actually that is how I discipline myself because when I'm, uh, after the show, I come back to my house, uh, I find it very difficult to eat something with salt. It's just that I have to go back still doing uh, the same like dieting or it takes me some time to really get into the normal kind of eating, breaking up, eating uh, salt and uh, doing all kind of stuff, you know? So. How many pounds? There's the times, yeah.
You know, I always like to wash with hands, if you can see there is a washing machine here. Uh, but uh, that's to wash the dish, this wash machine. But I always like to wash it uh, at hand and really make, uh, let my hand feel the cleanliness of the plate. And uh, really sure of what I'm eating too. So, that there is no other thing. That is how I learn in a hard way, so I like to do whatever I'm doing in a hard way, and that makes me to really feel strong and make me to be a man. So, let's see. Okay, now look at it, it's clean, and I'm sure there is no soap on it. That's it. That is how I needed the brownish, or oh, I love it with the brownish uh, color of it. That's why I let it a little bit of the pine to get a little bit burnt. And uh, it gives the color I want and uh, makes me feel like see if, uh, it's all seasoning on it here. So, this ready. After my breakfast, I will wash it. <laughs> I'll wash it after my breakfast. I won't keep it there. So I like to always to keep my dish, everything uh, clean before leaving for training. Because as you can see, I live alone, and uh, I like to keep everything uh, clean, and then uh, I make it in order. When I come back, it makes things very easy for me to just eat and uh, sleep. So now, now, I'll go set my table, normally the way I used to do. Even though I'm alone, and here I am. Actually, I sit up here so that I can watch telly. I like watching telly when I'm alone. Well, I'm a Christian, uh, as you can see. I believe in every success that I'm having is God that is behind me. So uh, I've been brought up in a, a Christian family. And with that, uh, that carries along with uh, uh, my day-to-day -day activities and all through to my life as of now. So I always pray before eating because God gave us food. He gave us the air to breathe, the food, and then give us the life to live. And all that comes is also his own uh, gift. So that's it. It's good. I, told you, I enjoy watching telly before while eating so always that's why this is my spot <laughs> yep you know actually food like this uh, a lot of people for the first time if they take it over there huh? 
I can do it. But uh, when you know the uh, the thing that you are fighting ahead, like the competition that wants to see you in a real good shape, and you want to really make it to the top, so yeah, bodybuilding is all about uh, sacrifice. Uh, you put a lot because you want to be good. You put a lot because you want uh, to be at the top. Uh, people that have been there, uh, they are also fighting as well as you do, doing all the best they can uh, to really get uh, there. So that's why it's a very uh, uh, active competitive uh, competition and uh, because uh, everybody wants to be at the top, you know. So, so like what I try to do is, I try to do all my homework uh, at home, uh, no cheating. I can tell you uh, right from air, all what I've gone through, I don't cheat when I'm doing dieting. Uh, because I believe uh, discipline is my first word about this sport. Even though I might be living alone or my trainer is not here, or uh, somebody taking care of my nutrition is not here, but after the training where all these guys have gone to their own houses and then I come back home, it's now that is where you really know the excess of your own discipline and then uh, what you looking for, what uh, really is your aim of, towards this spot. So that's where the, the whole thing lies, uh, when you are able to control yourself and then keep the discipline. So that's what I do. I find it very difficult to even test the salt at times, even when I'm after the whole show is gone. So I do it this way because the and uh, and that is how I like it because uh, my body, uh, no, my body system, my uh, burns very fast. And uh, since I was not brought up, I had a, a real a trainer who always uh, very disciplined and very strict in dieting. Uh, uh, when even I was doing uh, weightlifting, so uh, that is the thing I'm still holding on. And uh, I know with this, I'll go far as well too. I enjoy it this way. I've finished my breakfast, so I had to wash my plate again and keep my kitchen clean. And uh, that is exactly what I do. That's it. I'll use this chance uh, to really say, if not for the uh, two sponsors uh, that I have, uh, to really make my dreams come true here in uh, in US, because uh, it had been a a real long road and long way uh, before I could come in here. It hasn't been easy, uh, both in training alone, caring for myself alone, caring for my traveling alone. 
and hotel bills and uh, uh, the hard life as well from Spain where I, I had been living, uh, just trying to pursue the good career of uh, being a, a, not only just a pro bodybuilder, but a good and outstanding uh, bodybuilder. Uh, that goes a long way to so giving the great thanks uh, to my great two sponsors, uh, the Joe Wither, uh, for giving me the contract on the publication uh, part of it. Uh, it's been great. Like I can tell you, this is uh, some of the fruit on, uh, the, of which I have to gain and uh, have to be out in publication. This is the flex. Uh, the owner is Joe Wither, as you can see. And, uh, I've been in cover of the Flex magazine in several other uh, uh, publications as well. The advertisement right in and out in every month, non-stop. Non-stop, I say non-stop because it has been all the long way training. And this like a gift also, which they made it in, in a big way just to acknowledge my stay in, uh, in the competition as well. I do it to everyone that comes or and the front page as well. So uh, it's a great honor to really uh, get into uh, this family and then uh, I got to be deriving this kind of uh, a gift. Uh, well, the second sponsor is, as, as you can see, the great product number one in the world, uh, the Muzzle Tech. They do help me a lot uh, to uh, really give me the uh, the benefit of that, that uh, uh, you can leave and then uh, work with the company like this in taking care of the facilities and things I've been doing alone, like uh, paying all the uh, flight ticket to every competition, hotel bills, and as well as food uh, while traveling. So uh, if this product has been coming monthly and it's been, as you can see, a lot of it and uh, at times there is no room to occupy it. I have to store them out in the veranda with some of the catchments that comes in. It's been a nice uh, uh, company as well as uh, the whole entire staff, uh, the treatment as well. Uh, it's been so cordial and uh, friendly. Uh, that's especially from my heart. I have to give these two companies a great thanks. If I am anything up to this stage, if I had anything I have in now, it's because of them. And uh, the push-up also goes as far as just about two weeks ago, I had to win the Europa Super Show, uh, both the under 10 and, uh, and the uh, uh, upper guys competing with the big guys. Uh, though I might be smaller, but I want to tell you something. My aim right from Europe, was uh, uh, really uh, aiming at uh, fighting or striving very hard to really be uh, competing with the top big guys because I knew in the uh, US that bodybuilding as a sport really goes with the big man, bigger body, and it takes uh, a smaller guy like me uh, to really uh, fight and then get in there. Uh, I really derived much of a uh, desire watching uh, Sean Ray even while I was in Europe and that inspired me a lot. Uh, say if he's a small guy and he had been making it with the big guys, why can't I do it as well? So that goes in a long way uh, and when even I met him as a person, he gave me all the love and encouragement uh, to really push on harder and then uh, get my dreams come true. That's uh, just I can tell you, and as, as time goes on, I'll be telling you more about uh, uh, people that really get involved, about my success, my goal staying, and uh, my happiness, uh, just all together here. Uh, thank you. This is part of the things I do in the morning just to keep myself before I get to, to my training. Uh, I try to get in contact with my fans uh, this is the where at the moment I keep this to be as my office and but actually when I get a bigger house I think I have to uh, get a, a more comfortable office and uh, this is just that.
and from here I can uh, as well see check on my mails and then I also give some answers to my uh, fans all over the world uh, I just checked this morning and I had almost about 32 messages and this already uh, is about 13 now so it keeps coming and uh, on and on and also this is a uh, kind of where uh, I get into the forums whereby I check on opinions of people too you see all the messages I have so uh, why I go into the board like uh, this is getbig.com I will tell you that uh, I get inspired to look into what opinion people make about me and that really inspired me to really give myself the correction I, I don't go oh grudge to anybody but uh, I like people to make opinion and opinion uh, I take the one that are good and I leave the one that are uh, just uh, not good and that really helped me like you can see this is uh, this is something about my meeting with the Mr. O Let's see that's Mr. Olympia this Saturday and uh, where we had a place uh, uh, we went to San Diego uh, to train and to sign some more uh, autograph and uh, there you have he was there with me although I was invited by him so really had fun and you know comment people make as well uh, was really uh, Jose first of all this is how I do I look at I look at the window there and then look hey, hey, oh, I'm not here to get on. I'm not here. <laughs> hey, this guy's following me everywhere. Hey. How are you doing, guys? How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> this is Dave, my body, really. Yeah. This is this is the guy that makes things to happen to me since I left all the doom yard over there. Oh, no. And uh, and really, I, I don't have any word to say great thanks to him, but uh, he's still giving me day by day because if I say thank you, it's like, I need energy for him to give more and more. So I better. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Dave in the house. Uh, Hi guys, who's seen each other before? Yeah, I'm. I'm going heading now to the uh, to Venice uh, Gold. Uh, actually, in the morning, <clears throat> if not for Dave, that brings me. He takes me along every morning and brings me back. And this is uh, the journey we do go every day morning and evening uh, one hour at times uh, when there is a lot of traffic and uh, about 45 minutes uh, when we have to go on a, a pool uh, like we are going now now yeah. so it's quite a pretty day today like the Sun is out now and uh, the traffic also is not so busy uh, at times I used to sleep over and he's driving alone, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. No, who knows? Maybe uh, in a little while I'm not talking, I will just be going uh, going sleeping. So. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so the guys also that uh, encouraged me a lot. 
uh, since last year we've been friends and uh, it's been cool having him around here. He was pro shooting and good enough, I'm doing my DVD. So all good guys, uh, things happen to good guys. Oh yeah. yeah. This one say I met Silvio in uh, 2005 in Barcelona, Spain, their guest posing. And uh, since then, you know, just being in correspondence, hi, howdy, hello, every time we've seen each other ever since then, ever since his first debut at the Europa last year, and now look, standing next to Mr. Europa, 2007, it's just that easy, folks. You put in the time, you get rewarded for it. Yes, handle it. Yep. Good, good, how are you? Congratulations on your uh, recent victory. I see you've got a great videographer here. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And you see that? A little, a little tip from the from uh, the master videographer there. What we're trying to do is try to keep everything nice and tight and thick because he's already big enough. I mean, he's, he's gained a lot of mass after the last show. We're just trying to keep this flow going, and so far, that's what we're able to do. And uh, during the show, I saw a couple of little weak points that I want to try to bring up. So, we're trying to basically work those little points. They're not very weak in a sense where they'll show up, but I want them to be more pronounced like all the rest of his back. So, we're just doing little areas where we want to hit harder. doing is we're trying to hit more of the mid to the center of the lat of the back. Because what happens on the double bicep when he goes up, I want that to stand out. So we want this area here where the mid. This is your this is your lat here. This is your complete lat. And when you start moving in, a lot of guys have that part disappear. We want to make this more pronounced and make it stand out a lot more. And then that center part of the back, most people can't hit. So we're just trying to get a better contraction in that part also. It's working out real well. As you can see, it's nice and thick throughout the whole part of that back area. There we go. Getting that blood there, keeping it pumped. Good. 
squeeze. Don't lean back too far. Stop right there. There you go. Good. That's it. Stop and pull. That's it. Don't lean back. Good. Work the back. Come on. Work it. Good. Don't lean back now. Stop it. There you go. Good. Good. Better contraction. Come on. Contract. That's it. Good. Rear down. Come on. That's it. Open it up more. Open it up. Good. Don't kick it out. Leave your arms straight. Now. That's it. Come on. Pull it. Squeeze. See? Hitting on the rear down. Get that whole tie in to work for. Good.
Did you take away? No, that, last time. Yeah. yeah so I always do the rest. One, one like this. Perfect. How we train every day. Hada and Hada. And I love it because uh, Charles really know what he's doing and uh, he can really understand my body. So uh, the training is given day by day. Uh, really uh, improve a lot and respond to my body. That's why each time I look at the changes, the differences, day by day, then. Uh, I feel okay doing it. Let's go. So pull it, pull it. Stay down on it, use your back. Use your back and pull. Keep it out, you guys did not hear that. In case you don't hear it. Exactly right. Good. Very, very good. What are you trying to get? Rally. 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 Rally.
No, one. Yeah, one. It is. Where do you want to go? 90 Okay. Take it easy, man. I know you. he wants me to win, so... Oh, Charlie. Charlie. 95105. 95105. Yo, roll it. Roll it on. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's not. 
Right now, what we're doing is just hyper extensions, but we do them on an incline simply because we're trying not we're trying not to involve the hamstrings and glutes. So we raise the seat up high so it fits around his waist more. So this way, it doesn't his waist doesn't get thicker because we only work in just the erectors in the lower part of the back. In the today's uh, training, I like the back training uh, with Charles. And uh, normally, when we finish the one hour training with him, then I can do the small hour uh, pad, uh, which could be the calves, uh, which actually I have to do now. But that's uh, if it is the day that uh, we don't normally uh, train, both of us. Then I do it myself, like what I'm going to do then, okay? So, I'll take a break, then I'll start with cows training, okay?
got these treasures.
And for today, thank you, Mitch. What's up? Give me a break, Mitch. Please give me a break. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. First time buyer. First time buyer. So they asked me for 15 uh, grand. Good time. I said, okay. What'd you say? Uh, this country has been very, very good to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. So this country is very, very good. Very, very good to him. Yeah. That's cool, man. I'm proud of you, dog. I love, cool. I, love, I love America. I'm very, 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 very <laughs> I try to serve India. <laughs> All right. Is this double meat? Yeah, double steak. Oh, All meat. Let me have the paper. It's the yogurt. The hot sauce. Okay. This is only hot sauce. I love it. What am I just saying? That one too much. Jalapeno. That one too much. No, this one's mild. The red one is stronger. This is mine. You know, before I did not eat this, the bob. Bob. No. Bob. That's not the bob for him, right? No? That's not the bob for the bro. Why do they call it bob bowl? Have you ordered it all? Let's see bob bowl. Bob. The whole show, I got 18,000 in the whole show. Then uh, these guys, uh, they give me the bonus, 10 to the fifth week, so that's three. I know, you're supposed to be cool, but yeah, you're supposed to take it. Yeah, exactly. Of course, of course. I won't be catching on the, the live show without the best ones I get home. And then you fill out you. But it's true. This guy does finish his first one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Posted. Uh, yeah, he looks great and stuff because, of course, he was being quiet the whole time. He said, "Well, I just really like Silvio better." I told you, man. I didn't make it up. It was. It was. Yo. Back home. Okay, okay. Oh. I always like it very chill. So at times I put in some ice on it. Then I can get some soda for myself. Okay. Now as the fourth meal I'm having uh, white rice and chicken as you can see. Chicken fresh. The rice might be a lot. But uh, I'll put it that way in order to eat it uh, to any level I want. And then uh, I feel okay about it. I can as well have some rest.
So it's still uh, the same thing without salt I'm still eating. So even if uh, you might see me with the soda I'm drinking, I, all my food is without salt. Welcome test. So we eat and let the food be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, go on the normal telly. <laughs> I got the normal telly salt. I have a church around here. Yeah, all around, about three churches around here. So the, that is the bell of the church. I'll tell you exactly six o'clock, so they be there. There is a time that, like this rice, I prepare just normal white rice. There is a time so I boil my chicken, and then I use the water of the chicken to boil the rice. So that gives me a little bit of the taste and flavor, not just white rice. Uh, most of the time I do that, but this is just plain white rice I'm doing. Uh, because the chicken was drilled in the uh, oven, so I'll make a difference. Like eating after every workout, I think it gives more room for the dosing of the body. And it's different from eating in the morning and actually you're not doing anything. And the, you don't really have the appetite to really uh, eat sufficiently. Body need it. But the day I made this important, two important guys in my life, even before I started uh, pro bodybuilding, a pro career in the US. That is, I'm talking about uh, Dusty Jackson and Chris Corbin. These guys are uh, during the FIBO in uh, Germany. They inspired me a lot. Uh, I really took their time to come over to the booth where I was signing just to talk to me. Uh, really gave me the confidence to leave uh, Europe uh, to come and uh, pursue the uh, professional career because it's like they saw both of these this men saw the good quality that was in me and they knew I could explode it well in the US. So uh, they talked to me. But just a little bit of a picture of the old days for you to see. Uh, I really I respect them a lot in this game and uh, I give a lot of pride also to uh, myself and Chris Coleman because he was doing the exhibition also and this is the picture I'm talking about the Dusty Jackson and Chris coming to the boat I was signing and there they were talking to me and that very day was nice day too I met with Ronnie Coleman this was in we were in the same hotel and uh, as far as 
uh, this was my first show which I missed a meeting person Sean Ray that was last year and so those are the important guys uh, that really uh, see to my career here at this moment uh, so uh, great thanks to all these guys uh, really because uh, with them I'm able to really uh, have uh, my dreams uh, fulfilled. So, okay. So I'll check on my mails later. Then uh, I'll give myself some a little rest. Time to use water. That's it, uh, like a day's meal. I do it uh, like early in the morning or times in the night, like I did this one. So it lasts me till the following uh, day. And then it completes all the time six, seven, um, likely uh, and mostly eight uh, meal for a day. Uh, if it's any day that I'm eating uh, heavier, then it's gonna be like six. Or any day that is just a little bit lighter, uh, it's gonna be about like seven meals a day. Then if I'm going more on light and uh, getting about two and a half hours per meal, then it should be around eight. Yes. Mm. Let's eat, everybody. <laughs> in the live of bodybuilder every meal counts
really why I like washing uh, the toilet while eating is the only moment I can really uh, relax and know what is happening maybe uh, the news or know what is happening in other world or listen to some music <clears throat> uh, so as you can see there is no time really, really to sit down and then wash our uh, uh, telly so you train train eat eat and sleep and relax and let the body grow